warm welcome from Kilmore Software and Publishing. This short video clip will show how easy it is to use drum screeve. To create a drum score, simply click on the File New button. The basic music structure window appears where we can set various parameters. To begin with, we'll look at the page layout options. Here, the orientation can be set to portrait or landscape. Also, the maximum lines per page can be defined. We'll leave as 12. The time signature can be chosen from the drop down, and we can define the clef. Options are treble, bass, neutral, or none. We'll set it as bass. Then we define how many lines this score has and how many bars will appear on a line. We click the OK button. The music structure for the score has now been defined. If we want to alter this in any way, click on the structure toolbar. Here we can add repeat symbols and bars if required. If we want to delete a bar, we select the appropriate tool. And again, if we want to reposition the length of a bar, again we select the appropriate tool. We are now ready to drop the notes, embellishments and symbols onto the stave line. Again, we can apply dot and cut. We can apply an accent, repositioning that note, and again continue grouping the notes. We can add flam symbol in here. When you are happy with the note placement, you can add the title. Composer name, and the type of score. At this point, the score can be then saved. We give it a name. the save button. If required, an 
annotation can be added to the score. Click on the annotation tool, select the location where you want to place the text, type in the text and click on the apply button. Durham Screen 2, first and second timings are more flexible. Simply click on the bar and then the appropriate first timing marker. Again for the second timing. Core symbols can also be added to the score. Firstly, select the group of the notes required. I click on the advanced toolbar. Select the required notation. Separate time signatures can be applied throughout the score. Click on the time signatures toolbar. Select the required time signature and place it on the stave. This ends the short demonstration on how to use drum scrape.